Hello everyone, it's Eco Captain. I'm glad to see you. Today I'm here in the park to figure out how do trees get their water? We all know that plants need water to survive, but have we ever stopped to think how exactly does that water get absorbed into the tree? Unfortunately, the tree I interviewed was very shy and didn't want to talk about it, but uh, I might have a few ideas as to what's going on. There's a term for how trees get their water, and that term is called capillary action. Now it's the same idea as when you're cleaning up a spill. The towel absorbs that water instead of the water just sloshing all around. It's the same for a tree. All that water gets absorbed and sucked up all the way to the top. Those water molecules are really small and they love attaching themselves to things. I'm sure you've had a coat get wet or your shoes or even your hair. The water loves sticking to things and it doesn't go away easily. Now there's two interesting properties that water has that helps with capillary action. Adhesion and cohesion. Adhesion means that that water just likes to stick to things. Think about your jacket getting wet or your hair or something like that. It takes a bit for that water to go away and evaporate, right? Now cohesion is another rule where that water likes to stick together. You know, you see all the water in one puddle when you see a puddle, you don't see it in multiple different areas. The water molecules like to stay together. Maybe you've seen a glass of water that's filled a little bit more than it should, but you see that little bubble of water that still stays over it. That's cohesion in action. You can also think of the word cohesive when you're trying to speak and make sure everything's on the same topic. You're trying to keep it all together. That's another way to think about it. With these two rules, adhesion and cohesion, that water is able to travel all the way down from the roots, all the way up to the highest branch of a tree. So the experiment that we're gonna be trying today shows capillary action in action. You'll watch that water climb up from one space and make its way into another. It's kind of magical. So we're gonna go into the lab and show what you need to do this experiment. For this experiment, you'll just need a couple of items. Three glasses, access to water, and a roll of paper towels. Start by lining up those glasses and then pouring water into the first and the third glass, preferably most the way full. Next, you'll take the paper towels and then fold them in on themselves a few times to make kind of a roll out of it. You'll need two of these. Next, you're going to take those two paper towels and place them into the first and third glasses with the other ends of the paper towels both pointing into the second glass. You might already notice the water absorbing into the paper towels. Now go ahead and leave those alone for the next hour and a half or so, but be sure to check in every 15 minutes or so to see the progress. This video is sped up 600 times faster than a normal video just to show capillary action really working. Just imagine instead of a paper towel that this is one of the inner layers of a tree carrying that water from one place to another. If you want to get creative, you could also use food coloring on the first and third glasses just to see if maybe in that middle glass it'll make a new color. Thank you for tuning in. I'm excited to see how your experiments go. We'll catch you next time.